Now, didn't you enjoy that story? I think Anna Claire is a really, really good storyteller. Or rather her than me with all of those actions. Now, while you were doing the actions, and, um, and I'm, I'm sure, because I know you guys, I'm sure you would have kept up. But I wonder whether you were listening to the different bits in the story as well about how Joseph was his father's favorite and his father gave him something. Now, I'm not going to tell you what it was because you know what? We're going to have a little bit of a quiz coming up. But before we get to the quiz, just to check and see that we've got a couple of the, the facts. One of the things that I do need to tell you, um, you may have heard it in some of the stories, but most of the people in Israel, they were shepherds. And in the same way, Jacob and his family were shepherds also. Now, isn't it a good thing that Jacob had 12 sons? Because at least there would have been so many of them to take, to take it in turn to look after the sheep. So hint, hint, there's a reason why I'm telling you that. And the other thing, so we know that Joseph was called the dreamer. And Anna Claire told us about um, the fact that Joseph had dreams. Now, there were a couple of dreams that Joseph had. One of the dreams was that he was out in the field with his brothers and, you know, when they tie up grain and the grain was tied up into a sheaf. So the dream was that his sheaf stood up in the middle of the field and all of the other 11 brother sheaves um, bowed down before his sheaf. So that was one of his dreams. And another dream that he had was that the sun, the moon and um, 11 stars bowed down to him, which actually meant uh, or it was um, understood as the fact that it was his brothers, but also his father and his mother bowing down to him. So quite a few things to think about. Now, let's see how much you and I have been able to remember about this story. So, so to do that, we've got a little quiz. I think it's just five questions. And it is about how well do we know Joseph the dreamer? So fun facts about Joseph. Five questions for us. Are you ready? I'll just give you a moment. Um, we will look at the questions and look at the answers and see um, which one we go with. So what did Joseph do to help Jacob? Did he help with fishing? Did he help with farming? Or did he help with looking after the sheep? Thinking caps on, which one do you think it is? I don't know, are you guys putting up your hands in class and answering? Is that what your, your teacher is making you do? I think you guys got that right. You were listening, weren't you? Joseph looked after his father's sheep. Well done. So question number two. Now, if you were listening to the story that Anna Claire uh, told us, you, you should know the answer to this. What did Jacob give to Joseph? Did he give Joseph a horse? Did he give him a coat? Or did he give him a tent? Which one do you think it is? We know Abraham lived in a tent because we saw uh, Pastor Rich in a tent, didn't we? But what did Joseph get? Oh, spot on. You've been watching, haven't you? Jacob gave, gave Joseph that multicolored coat. Yeah, well done. Let's get on to the next question then. Now, I know I gave you the detail about two dreams. There were quite a few things going on in those dreams. But what were Joseph's dreams about? Were they about sheaves of grain bowing down to his sheep? Sound familiar? Were his dreams about sheep? Or were his dreams about the sun, the moon and the stars bowing down to him? I guess the, the clue that I can give you here is two out of the three are correct. Yeah. Well done. Well done. And you know what? I miss the fact that we're not in church and I could get you to, to answer. 
but that's absolutely correct. It is about the sheaves of grain and it is about the sun, the moon and the stars. Well done. So question number four. Now, how did Joseph's brothers get rid of him? We know that um, they, they hated him. We know that they were jealous of him. But what did they do? Did they kill him? Did they sell him for money? Or did they put him into jail? Do you remember? Do you remember? That's correct. They sold him for money. That's absolutely correct. Can you imagine selling your brother for money? Well, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Let's get on to question number five. So where did Joseph end up living? Was it in Greece? We know that some people in the Bible, um, some of the stories, we know that they lived in Greece. Or did Joseph end up living in Egypt? That would have been towards the end of the story that Anna Claire told us. So well done, children. So Joseph ended up living in Egypt. That's correct, because um, Joseph's story, there is so much more to his story. Um, and if, if you ever want to read, you'll hear how the rest of his story develops in Egypt. And it is really, really exciting. So really well done. Pat yourself on the back for doing so well with the quiz. And you know what? Let's spend some time talking about Joseph's story. <laughs> 